Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're a first time subscriber, thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. I talk mostly about fountain pens, fountain pen inks, journaling, and <clears throat> occasionally art and art supplies and painting. Um, for all the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I really do appreciate the support. Today is a very exciting day. Well, actually this is like take two. Uh, the exciting day actually happened a little bit earlier, but I lost my footage um, somehow. So for you guys, it's new. I have my first brand new fountain pen of 2023. This is a purchase that I did back in 2022. So I have not still bought a new fountain pen for the year, um, but it's come into this year. I bought it last year. I had to wait three months. It has finally arrived and I am so excited. So this is um, kind of what I feel like a almost wrap up of a conclusion of a series of pens that I have. And I'm so excited to get this one because I actually used a Nipsmith for this purchase. And so without further ado, I also want to quickly shout out to my friend C. Thank you so much for this great um, <laughs> gift. Uh, this arrived in the mail um, as well this month. And I do ha actually like more than three people, but um, that was a little tight. So, but I love, I love the humor of this uh, star. So I will be keeping this around my desk at some point, but I just wanted to share that with everybody as well. So I'll put that to the side. And now without further ado, it's going to be a new thing for you. I've been using this pen for testing it for a little on and off of, of a week. Um, by the time you see this video, I will have had it for a few weeks actually at this point, but I am so stoked to get this pen. Um, it happened last year. I saw it on somebody else's YouTube video. I'd seen it around, but I, um, I know you guys are like, get to it, get to it. Um, I have to preface this. <laughs> I saw it around and I thought, okay, it's, um, probably not within reach. It ended up becoming within reach. Um, then I took it over to the nib smith and have him custom grind this nib. And it's the first type of nib that I've had um, in this kind of grind that I'm getting ready to explain to you. I'm sorry, I'm just really, really excited. It's, it's taken me a while to actually take that splurge on fountain pens. I usually just get the nibs as is without any kind of custom tuning. And in the, what, eight years that I've been a fountain pen enthusiast, I'm finally getting a custom ground nib. So this is my second, actually. Technically, this is my really true first one, but it's my second one because I got another specialty nib when I got my um, Estabrook SD. Um, so without further ado, I bought, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still kind of recovering from being sick. I bought a Sailor Pro Gear and I got this one as a custom grind, like I said, and this is the Sailor Black Gear. Can you see it? It is the Stellar Black Hole. And I got this with a broad nib to have it custom um, ground down to a architect nib. So it is my first architect nib. I've had stub nibs before in the past and I know from all things that I've read and heard that unlike a stub nib, like a 1.1 is usually what I get in stub nibs. I don't get broader than that. The downstroke is going to be thin on the architect and the horizontal is going to be thicker versus the stub, which is thick on the down and thin on the horizontal. This pen, I don't even know if this light's going to pick up and do it justice, but it has like gold and slightly blue sparkles in the body of it. I love the flat finials. This is a Pro Gear and not a Pro Gear Slim. And it's just absolutely stellar. Um, when I placed the order last year, he actually ran out. So he had to like get more in and then he had to do my order to ground, grind it down. I got it up from Dan Smith, um, the Nip Smith, Dan the Nip Smith. Um, and I've already, like I said, inked it up. So I won't have to ink it. I am using an existing sample of Shale, um, Sailor Shikori Shimoyo ink, which is a nice dark blue ink. 
and I will do a quick writing example so that you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit. This pen writes beautifully. Um, I do find that with architect nibs and it's usually best to write in print and not cursive, but this is the sailor. This writes nice and juicy. Um, Pro gear. This has an architect nib. This is the stellar black hole. And I like to actually print write because sometimes it just makes me slow down and think about what I'm writing when I'm writing sometimes. Um, and um, let me just do the downstroke so you can see those. So the downs are thin and the horizontals are thick. And that's what that looks like. This writes and it is tuned like butter. He did a fantastic job with this. Um, I just really, really, I really am enjoying this nib. And I said last year that I was going to break out and try to do some different nibs and I'm glad to see that I'm actually staying true to myself and I am doing that. Let's just do, and I'm going to print this out, the quick brown fox. It's kind of tight spacing there, sorry about that. Jumps over the lazy dog. Fantastic writer. Love this pen. And I really am going to spend a lot of time uh, just kind of working with this pen. I hope you guys can see the sparkles and the chatoyancy of like this, this pen body. It is just an absolute stellar pen. And I know that, <clears throat> I think he still has some of these available on his website. So I will put the link above um, or and definitely down in my comments descriptions of this website if you're interested in getting this pen. Absolutely gorgeous pen. I've really been enjoying using it. By the time you've watched it, I will have been writing with it for a while. So I will keep this pen kind of inked up in my collection. Um, it will probably show up in my currently inked for March for sure. Um, because it's just one of those pens that I'm just really, really enjoying. And I'm really liking getting acquainted with my architect nib. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this um, boxing and my initial thoughts and impressions. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can see when more content comes out. And until next time, stay healthy and take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.